now it's recording. Welcome to the I-80 West ramp. So... Out here. 
All right, so we seem to be getting into a little bit more of the Sand Hill area of the state um, where there are some actual mountain type thing areas here. Uh, we can see some actual hills now, apparently. And there we go. Um, but they're sand hills, so there's not much vegetation out here. It's kind of an arid kind of area. Yeah. Um, so we just left a place that said it was out in the middle of nowhere. It just, I mean, it said that it was in the middle of nowhere. So, yeah. yeah. So, so these are some of the, these are some of the hills that you see over there. some of the hills over there I mean it's getting a little bit more hilly in areas but most of it is still just really flat and barren and nothing out of, well, I don't know what that what you're plowing up over there ain't, what, I don't, ain't nothing out here to plow there's something over there it looks like a rest stop or a park thing or something like that so yeah but yeah this is uh very exciting uh, scenery. So I've been recording for the last while you're reading that, but I just want everybody to understand what we're seeing here. It is right now May 20th, 2022, at 11 o'clock, at 10 o'clock in the morning. And we are here, we just crossed into, we just crossed the border to Wyoming. So that means we're probably just right outside, uh, outside of Cheyenne, Wyoming. There is snow on the ground right now. Temperature is 33 degrees. The speed limit is 80. I'm only going 65 because, you know, I've not experienced snow on the ground in the middle of May. So, yeah, this is different. Um, my co-pilot has done zero driving because of this weather. She doesn't seem too broke up about it. Uh, they, yeah, this is this is pretty different. I mean, there's snow on the ground out here. Oh, <clears throat> I turned on my phone. Mm -hmm. Okay, it says 10 o'clock, 10.02, but then it says 9.02. We went back in time. Back in time. Yeah, I mean the snow is sticking to the rooftops and stuff. There's hardly anybody out here right now. I mean this is crazy. This is a first for me. Well, not a first for me. Let me take that back. I haven't seen anything like this since I've been in Bosnia. And the snow's, I mean it's non-stop constant right now. It's coming down right now. Yeah, so it seems to have stopped snowing. No, no, it's still, it's kind of misting it looks like. Wait, it's still snow. You can see it, right? But maybe it's warmed up enough so that it is uh, not sticky. I'm going 75 and this guy just passed me like I was standing. He's from Kansas. That guy passed me like I was standing still. Lord have mercy. Okay, so we're on the road back to Cheyenne, Wyoming because apparently there was a crash of some sort and now uh, what we need to do is we need to find an alternate route to get to where we need to go. Um, the state trooper told us that um, he said north. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. North would be good for comments. That's what we should have been. Um, that's okay. I'll turn up. I just want to get us off of that road back there, and then we can kind of determine what we want to do. We're gonna pull up from this truck stop right here. It might be a good time for us to gas up anyway. We're ready to have to take it anyway. So I want us to go south. I want to stay away from all of this snow here, and I'm not sure yet. It'll be more snowy when it gets. 
south and the north just more than gas prices. Gas prices just went up. Oh, it just went up again. Yes. Yeah. But I think it's flipping between diesel and the Go! Somebody does not know how to drive a truck. So anyway, yeah, we gotta find an alternate route to get to Utah here. So, we are now in uh, Colorado. We had to take an unexpected detour. So, so we're in Colorado now. We had to head south because when we got to Wyoming, the snow apparently had caused a some kind of an accident on or closure on 220. And of course, the Interstate 80 is closed up there, so 220 is the road that you need to take to keep going that way. It's gonna add a few hours to our trip, which is fine because back when we originally were talking about taking this trip, I figured we were gonna go through Colorado anyway. Now we're gonna see some real mountains here. We'll start seeing the real mountains, I should say. Look at over there.
are leaving, leaving colorful, colorful Colorado. Colorado. And now, <laughs> welcome. We are now in Utah after we cross this sign, of course. Welcome to Utah. Welcome. People, to Utah. people are taking, taking photos. photos. She said, "Welcome to Utah." Welcome to Utah. Yep. So we are now in Utah. We're in Utah. Man, almost. We're, but we got we got a few more hours and we'll be okay. Now I can kick it up to eighty now. See, that's why you're not driving right. <laughs> But the speed limit is 80. You have to drive 80, girl. You ready for that? With practice. We'll see. You ain't got much practice. You got two days. You got two days. More like a day and a half because I'm leaving on Sunday. So. <laughs> Eagles on the road. No. Told me about maybe 10 minutes ago. She sent me a message. Wonderful, wonderful. Cool. Yeah, I, I, I'm proud of her. Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. Yep, I'm still here. Okay, okay. Yep. I, I, Come I, in, uh, huh? So I was going to say, I'm going to let you go so you can get to where you got to get to safely and get off the mountain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I don't want to be like Moses. <laughs> my time ain't came yet my time is not come yet it ain't up to me but i ain't trying to make it come yet so oh man i see it now, <laughs> I see it now. we just in a bunch of rain right now but this i mean man i got video and stuff i'll have to show it to you next time i see it yeah it's just a little bit windy right now but it's okay it's okay we're going to get out of here soon I did. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Yep, yeah, no bars. 
no bars. <laughs> Forty-five to fourteen forty-five. That's twelve hours. Fifteen Sixteen and a half hours. By my calculations. Oh, look at how big this bed is. This is nice. Mm -hmm. 